Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Hollywood Man, and we are back with another video. Now, as you can see by the title today, I have a Joe Knows LeBron James style build for you guys. Now, this is a version of the Joe Knows build. It's not the exact thing. I made my own critiques and adjustments for high tier park gameplay. These critiques and adjustments well, you know, they're not based around being LeBron. The build is as close as you can get to LeBron, but still be able to go on 100 streaks and absolutely be dominant in the park. So make sure you guys, you know, check out this build. Make sure you guys, you know, drop a like on the video for your boy Hollywood, though. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and move on into it. Make sure you guys like the video. I heard if you guys didn't like the video, you guys do not brush your teeth. So, yeah, like the video or you don't brush your teeth. You stinky boy. Let's move on over to the build creator, though. All right, guys. So now we're in the build creator. We're going to show you guys our LeBron James build. Now, if you guys did missed my point guard LeBron James, that link is in the description. But this is going to be a small forward LeBron James build. Um, now, there are two options you guys can go with for your LeBron James build. It's actually the pie chart right above me right now. It's this one. It does give you a better three ball and a better midi but we don't get that 85 threshold so we're personally going to go with hall of fame finishing so we are going to go with the play blue now this is where my adjustment is different from joe knows the one and only joe knows man shout out to him for you know dropping these lit lebron james build videos for us it's where i get my build every time um i'm gonna drop a link in the description to his channel if you guys have not checked him out i'm sure you have he's literally one of the best to ever do it so make sure you guys go show him some love um but we're going to make an adjustment to what he did. He did do the agility strength pie chart. Um, there's a couple options of this. You could go balanced agility strength, agility vert, or all agility. But with my recent, you know, update patch notes for patch three, like this, I said, this is a patch three LeBron build. Strength does not matter. And you need the most speed possible, especially on a tall build. Like 6'5 play shots are dead right now, guys. They are moving like potatoes. My boy IQ Contained literally deleted his 6'5 today and made a 6'3. So we're going to go with the all speed pie chart. Now we have our finishing, our shooting, our playmaking, and our defensive rebounding attribute upgrade category. So to start it off, we're going to go into our finishing. We're going to max our standing dunk, our driving dunk, our driving layup. And then we're going to tack up on our close shot. That way we can get 15 finishing badges. Come on. There you go. There's 15. So that's going to give us a 76 close shot, a 84 driving layup, a 83 driving dunk, and an 81 standing dunk next we have shooting now shooting i'm looking for eight eight to my magic number that's what joe came up with and i definitely believe in eight shooting badges so we're going to go with eight real quick so we're going to max our midi our three ball is going to give us a 72 and a 64 and then our free throw so now we're going to take up our free throw until it gives us eight shooting right there we get an 81 free throw now i would honestly love to take those upgrades and put them in a post fade and like tack like that but I believe it does cost more upgrades. So we're actually going to go this direction and get us those extra shooting badges. So now we're going to go to our playmaking. Now for playmaking, we're going to max our ball handle and our pass accuracy. That's going to give us 22. But 22 is a little low, so we're actually going to go for that 25, especially when they had ankle breakers in the game. So we're going to get a 62 post move, a 79 ball control, and an 83 pass accuracy right now. Now let's move down to our defensive and rebounding category. So for our defensive and rebounding category, we are going to max our interior D, max our perimeter defense, max our lateral quickness, and max our steel. We're left with 43 upgrades, so we're going to dump those into our defensive rebounding. That's going to give us six defensive badges. Then we're going to put those last three upgrades into block. Now, hear me out. If you don't think you need 25 playmaking, which personally... I think I only need 22. That's what most play shots get. I would love to take this off and go down here and put this into my block. That way I can get seven defensive badges. And, you know, if I really wanted to make a critique, I would come all the way up here and take those off and put those into block as well and get eight defensive badges. But, you know, I feel like seven's a really good number. And I do like the thought of having, you know, 17 
finishing badges. So we are going to go with 17, 8, 22, and 7 for my LeBron build. Now this is different. Uh, Joe Nose did go 15, 8, 25, 7. Okay, so now this is definitely different than Joe Nose's build. We get one extra defensive badge, one less playmaking on the build. Now the adjustment that you could make is taking off this playmaking and dumping it into finishing and get two more playmaking badges. Now that's your own personal um, way and vendetta. You know, how important is those two extra finishing badges? Personally, I kind of want to go with those two extra finishing badges, but I know I'll probably get hate. So let's go with the 24 playmaking. So we're going to go with 15, 8, 24, and 7. Now let's move on to the next category, the body type. Now you guys know my boy LeBron, we want him to look like a big boy. So we are going to go with Burley. Now we're on a body shape. So you know my boy LeBron is built. So we're actually going to go with the built body shape. Normally I would go Burley, but you know, for this being said, we're gonna go with built. And then for height, obviously we gotta go six, seven. You know, if I was really not making a LeBron build, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm going six, six on this build. But because it is a LeBron build video, we are going to go six, seven. And then we have weight. Now, my boy Joe knows he went 221, I believe, on this build. So this is what it sits at at 221. You have an 85 speed, 83 acceleration with a 56 strength. Now, strength does not matter. I'm going to be real with you guys. Strength is ridiculously booty in this game. Um, on your builds, you guys should definitely go 180. 80 you should drop the weight all the way down you know lebron i i know he's a big boy but if you want your build to be ridiculously glitchy you should go 180 now that being said look how skinny our boy is at 180 man so let's actually back up man he needs to be a big boy so we're gonna go burly and then we're gonna drop that weight down that way lebron still looks like he's a big dog we're gonna go with 180 it's gonna give us an 89 speed so that means my lebron build with my plus eight will have an 80 a 97 speed that's that's pretty that's pretty nutty with it with a 94 acceleration so you know that's kind of all we want it's kind of all we asked for and then we have the 79 ball control now this is where you guys got to bear with me so before patch three this build would not get an 85 ball control which you know you needed that plus six at 99 and you don't get that plus six at 99 it would only get a plus four but with patch three, we do get the curry slide dribble moves. So this build is going to be moving ridiculously fast. Not only are we going to be able to curry slide at six, seven, we're going to be able to contact dunk everybody. Now, with that being said, look at our shooting though. This is where the build scares me. You know, that 72 mini, that 64, three, if it's not a high overall, the build probably will miss unless you're shooting a midi. So now we move on to wingspan, man. Now this is where it gets tricky with this build. We do want a decent mid-range shot because that's probably what we're mainly going to be shooting with builds we're going to be forcing people to you know protect the rim and stop and pop for the midi so we don't really want to go max wingspan that 89 wingspan only gives us a 69 midi so personally i'm going to go with joe nose's decision on this wingspan and go with the 87 wingspan that way our ball control does not get touched we still have a good midi i'd say 70 midi is still doable We'll still knock down midis consistently without our meter. We probably won't hit any. That 70 midi is very good. And we do get a plus two to our defensive rebound as well as our perimeter defense. So we are going to go with the 87 wingspan. That gives us a 85 driving dunk, an 88 standing dunk, and a 78 close shot. Next, we have our takeover. Now, you know, LeBron, he's a playmaker. Personally, I like the slashing takeover. We get a lot more contact dunks. It does give us the ability to go a heck of a lot faster, just like play take. Um, and we just get a lot more contact dunks. And right now there is no ankle breakers with play take. So we are going to go with slashing takeover on this build. And that's going to come out as a facilitating finisher with shades of Jalen Rose, DeMar DeRozan, and Brandon Ingram. So for our build tester, we're going to start off, so off with finishing badges. We're obviously going to go Hall of Fame Contact, Hall of Fame Relentless, Hall of Fame Slithery, as well as our Silver Consistent. Now we're left with one shooting, uh, one last badge. I'm going to personally throw that last badge on Acrobat. If I went with those two extra shooting, I would probably go Hall of Fame Showtime. 
bronze consistent. That way I can get a lot more boost to my actual takeover. Anyways, now that we're back after our ad break, we are on to our shooting category. We are going to go with gold green machine, gold hot zone, and silver range extender on this build. Now you may be asking, yo, 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 yo. Why'd you go gold green machine? Why'd you go gold hot zone hunter? Why don't you go gold range extender? Because I'm not gonna be shooting threes. Silver range is good enough for me to knock down those middies. And then if I really wanted to be glitchy, I would probably actually go silver corner specialist and only shoot from the left and right side from my hot zones. But for this being said, since I don't have, you know, a lot of, you know, experience on this build and 2K21, I'm going to go gold green, gold hot zone, and silver range. Now, the only adjustment you guys can make is silver green with gold range, but I know I'm only going to be shooting middies. Silver range is definitely adequate. It's definitely adequate for that, so we're going to run with that. Next, we have playmaking. Now, playmaking, you know, obviously our most important badges. We're going to go Hall of Fame, Unpluckable, Hall of Fame, Floor General, Hall of Fame, Handles for Days, and Hall of Fame, Quick First Step. That leaves us with eight left. We're going to obviously, we got to go, we got to go Dimer, man, because LeBron, you know, he throws a lot of dots. And then we got to go with our bronze bailout. That leaves us with three playmaking badges left. A lot of people have been talking about tight handles. So I am going to go tight handles. The only other option that would really be usable right now is stop and go. But guys, when they add ankle breakers, we are going to run silver on pluckable with, with um, silver space creator, silver ankle breaker, and then a silver bailout. That's what I would actually run if ankle breakers were in the game. But since they are not, we're going to go hall of fame on pluckable and gold tight handles. Why can't I put on gold tight handles and gold tight handles? Next, we have defensive. Now, defensive. Next, we have defensive. Now, interior defense this year is very easy, so you don't need a lot of badges for your interior defense. So, personally, we are going to go silver intimidator, silver rim with gold clamps. Now, you may be like, yo, Hollywood, yo, 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 rebound chaser, man. You're forgetting about rebound chaser. Okay, if you guys really want to run rebound chaser, go bronze rim. Bronze Rebound Chaser, take off Gold Clamps, and run Silver Rebound Chaser. So there you go. That would be, if you guys are that worried about Rebound Chaser, personally, I'm not really going to be getting a lot of boards in this build. That's what I would run, but I'm going to be relying on my, you know, Rim Sharp or my 6-7 Max Stretch to have Gold Rebound Chaser and be snagging my boards because we both basically have the same rebound. It's not like I have an 80-plus rebound on this build right now. That's going to do it, though, for the badges. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, shout out to my brother Joe Nose. Shout out to all the guys dropping these LeBron James videos. You know, they definitely enticed my decision to make this build. Watching that gameplay, their links are in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys drop a like on your way out. Peace.